My fellow Americans, mob violence goes against everything I believe in and everything our movement stands for. Get down, get down, get down. More violence, more violence. Knock the crap out of him, would you? I will pay for the legal fees. And this guy started screaming, he should have been, maybe he should have been roughed up. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. President Trump tweeting, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. If I say don't hurt him, then the press says, well, Trump isn't as tough as he used to be. We had some people, some rough guys like we have right in here, and they started punching back. It was a beautiful thing. I mean, if I would have been boom, 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 I'll beat them. But you also had people that were very fine people. I'm carrying a pistol. I go to the gym all the time. I'm trying to make myself more capable of violence. Well, on both sides. I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? Proud Proud boys. Stand back and stand by. A Republican congressional candidate charged with body slamming a reporter. Any guy that can do a body slam, he's my cat. This is an invasion. How do you stop these people? You can't. There's no... That's only in the panhandle you can get away with that stuff. Our country is under siege. We're going to the Capitol to make your voices heard. And you have to get your people to fight because you'll never take back our country with weakness. If you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore.